It's not just Apple getting into the headset game. German tech and industrial giant Siemens announcing at CES today they'll bring their latest software to Sony's new mixed reality headset. Let's dive further into the details now with Siemens CEO Roland Bush. Roland, a pleasure to have you joining us here. Welcome. Hi, Kelly. Thanks for having me. Are we right to understand this as primarily a business and industrial product, not a consumer one per se? Or how would you ex explain everything that's happening here? No, that's true. This is really made for the creators um, in order to immerse into what we call the industrial metaverse. So you have um, a virtual representation, we call it a digital twin, a physics-based digital twin of um, any kind of product you have. And with this headset, creators can really immerse themselves and deal with the product in the virtual world as if you would have it in your real hands as a real product. Talk to us about Siemens technology, Sony's hardware. I mean, you guys have been very active. You've talked about having partnerships with NVIDIA, uh, working on the metaverse and so forth. What's the vision as to what this uh, product and this category and the innovation here will look like in maybe two or three years' time? So the idea behind this is basically having the industrial metaverse, and it's different from the metaverse because it's really it's a physics-based digital twin. So we don't animate, we simulate. So it's all the physics behind what happens when you shake it, when you heat it, when you even load software on your product in the digital world. So this one thing. And then you want to have it um, immersive. That means you want to get the, uh, the feeling that you're really, you're really literally into in the um, metaverse and you experience um, everything there and you optimize it. You um, optimize your manufacturing lines, even the people on the shop floor. Uh, your product can be redesigned in no time, um, supercharged by AI. So that means all the experience which you have in the past from the data from your designs would be rolling into that one. So you optimize your product and then you build it. That saves you money, that saves you time, drives your productivity up and uh, also saves resources um, and makes your product more recyclable. So that's the benefit we have. And we do that obviously in, a, in the ecosystem. So we have NVIDIA. They give us the, their platform um, in order to really make a, a, ver, a photorealistic image. Yeah. We have AWS. We work with them on, on, on their cloud technology, but also on their AI platform is Microsoft for a co-pilot. So um, and bring that together to solve real world problems. That's what we do. So the headset has had a stop and start uh, track record so far. A lot of different people have tried it, mostly yes. consumer facing. It does have some applications, obviously, big in gaming and the industrial world. Is this really the year the headset becomes a thing? Yeah, and you know, this headset is a little bit special. I mean, it's number one, of course, is the immersiveness, but also you have tools in your hand where you can really interact with the, the parts which you have in the virtual world change them, design them um, real time, so to speak. So it's really geared for the professional consumers, which are, which are creators, um, engineers, mechanical engineers. And this headset in combination with the software which we are offering, the cut software, the 3D software, that makes a big difference and can boost really productivity in the design and creativity in design very much so. So it's different from that what you see as a headset for gaming, for example.